Hello and welcome to Alexpo and it's Football Manager time once again and today we're moving on to Football Manager 2006. Last time we looked at 9 wonder kids from the first incarnation of FM from Freddy Adu to Carlos Tevez and today we're going to do the same with the second edition of Football Manager that was released way back on October 21st 2005 back when Gold Digger by Kanye West was number one and Dream Team was so popular that Harchester United featured on the game. 15 years later and Dream Team is no more and Kanye West just failed to become the President of the United States. But anyway, back to the matter at hand, my name's James and this is 9 Wonder Kids from Football Manager 2006, where are they now? Number 1 Lionel Messi Starting off with the biggest name possible, of course Lionel Messi was a wonder kid on FM. He's been good since he came out of the womb way back in 1987 and on Football Manager 2006 he was a wonder kid just breaking into the Barcelona first team. This is probably the last time Messi was considered a wonder kid by a football manager as by the time 07 hit the shelves he was pretty much an established as a star already. Forget about potential, he was the real deal straight away. Now in 2020, Lionel Messi is still one of the best around, possibly the greatest of all time if you want to start that needless debate, but his Barcelona legacy is on the line. He was very close to leaving this summer and all eyes will be on the new camp next year when his contract expires. FM fans everywhere will be trying to get him on a pre-contract as soon as it hits January 1st on FM21 where the Tranmere Rovers are Man United. Number 2 Fabio Pine Throughout his career Lionel Messi has been compared to Cristiano Ronaldo. The two have run side by side, constantly dueling to be the best. But back when Ronaldo was a teenager, there was another young Portuguese talent who even CR7 thought would be better than him. Enter Fabio Pine. Even before he made his professional debut, FM06 had earmarked him as a future star and sadly they were wrong. Pime is 32 now and not playing football at all at a professional level which maybe suggests Cristiano Ronaldo was wrong about his fellow countrymen. Pime did end up at Chelsea but only on loan for a few months where he never played for the first team. His career has taken him from England to Qatar to Malta to Lithuania but in August 2019 he was arrested for possession of narcotics back in Portugal. He was later acquitted and after a quick search on Twitter, apparently he's now playing amateur football in Poland. Good luck to him I guess. Number 3 Curlon We've got another FM legend and a man who wasn't just famous for his prowess on Football Manager 2006 but a piece of skill that I don't think I've ever seen replicated, mainly because it was a bit pointless. Back in the day Curlon was known for his famous seal dribble where he would run and bounce the ball on his head, like a seal basically. I mean imagine if he did that in League 1 or League 2, some meathead would kick him into Rose Ed. But Curlon seemed like a star in the making back in the day, the next Samba sensation to take Europe by storm. However, that isn't what happened at all. Knee injuries hindered him no matter where he went and he would actually retire in 2017 after a spell in Slovakia. Nowadays he's living in America where he's got himself a family and he runs a football academy. Number 4 Lukas Podolski Next up we've got a man who is better for his country rather than his club and nowadays owns a kebab shop. Lukas Podolski looked like the next best thing in German football 15 years ago and it wouldn't be long before he joined the biggest club in Germany, Bayern Munich. Sadly he was pretty average there and would have to return to Cologne to rebuild his career. That got him to move to Arsenal that started strong and ended badly before just milling about from country to country, from Turkey to Japan. At 35, Podolski is still in Turkey once again with Antalya Sport and boasts an excellent record of 49 goals in 130 games for Germany to go nicely with his World Cup winner's medal. But more importantly, Podolski is keeping himself busy off the pitch too, owning an ice cream parlour and a kebab shop. That man's living the dream, I could do with a kebab right now, and an ice cream after wouldn't go amiss either. Number 5, Jao Matinho. 15 years ago, Jao Matinho was a wonder kid on FM at the age of 19. In 2020, he is still playing at an elite level, representing Wolves in the Premier League as well as still lining up for his country. Matinho is almost times at this stage and probably deserved to play for some even bigger clubs in his career. But he was part of that famous Monaco team that features some wonder kids we'll no doubt discuss in the future, but for now let's bask in the glory that is Jao Matinho. Number 6 Lebohang Makwena From a player still going in the Premier League to a man who never made it out of South Africa, we now turn to Lebohang Makwena. With incredible speed and dribbling ability, McQueen was the kind of player he'd want on FIFA, but it was on FM where he had the potential to be a star. Sadly though, the man known as Cheese Boy, no idea why, has never actually played outside his native South Africa, despite multiple attempts earlier on in his career from European clubs to sign him. At the age of 34, McQueen is still playing today and is the captain of Morocco Swallows. Number 7 Sergio Aguero Back to the Premier League superstars, and Sergio Aguero is actually one of the top wonder kids back on FM06. 
When the game was released, he was just 17 years old, but was already part of the Independiente first team. The hype was real as Aguero hit 18 goals in 36 games in the 05-06 season, and the summer of 2006 saw a water with a move to Atletico Madrid. His first season at Atletico was the last time he failed to hit double figures in the league. He's done it in literally every season since then, and has gone on to become Manchester City's all-time leading goalscorer, and one of the best strikers the Premier League has ever seen. So yeah, it's fair to say that football manager was spot on about 17-year-old Sergio Aguero back in the day. Number 8, Nico Kranjkar. We've got an older wonder kid here, and Nico Kranjkar was actually 21 when FM06 came out, which is pretty old for a wonder kid nowadays. By 21, he'd be an established star winning trophies and breaking records. But back in the day, the Croatian playmaker was a young man with lots of potential, battling him with Hajduk Split. He was an exceptional player to watch, especially if he was in the mood, but he never really got to that top, top level. Instead, he kind of just followed Harry Redknapp around. His last club of Rangers were, to be honest, he was absolutely shocking, to the shock of everyone, and he retired after his contract was terminated in 2018. Number 9, Giovanni Dos Santos. We end things with another ex-Spurs player, a lad who just didn't live up to the hype, but he's at least had some success in recent years at a lower level. Back in the day, he was a Barcelona teen, typically come a star at the new camp alongside the new generation of Lionel Messi and co. At the time, it looked like FM had got it right, as a year later he was named the most exciting teenager in the world by World Soccer magazine. But in 2008, he joined Tottenham, and that's where his career started to turn. He never played a Premier League game, and actually ended up on loan at Ipswich, which doesn't really scream most exciting teenager on the planet, does it? A move to Villarreal in 2013 finally saw him show the potential everyone thought he had, but then he shocked everyone by heading to North America and joining LA Galaxy, where he stood out like a sore thumb on account of his natural ability. In 2020, Dos Santos is still playing, now back in Mexico with Club America. So there we go, those are 9 wonder kids from Football Manager 2006 and where they are now. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Alexpo. And until next time, we will see you around.